Now we will do a few more examples where we use the Pythagorean theorem to answer this question. Is it a right triangle? And here's the first example. A triangle has sides of length 1.8, 8.0, and 8.2. Is it a right triangle? Well, we could draw this out, but we don't even have to draw it. We just have to actually do the math. So in other words, the, the question we're asking is, does 1.8 squared plus 8.0 squared equal 8.2 squared? And the longer side is obviously going to be the hypotenuse, the one that is the sum of the other two, if it works out. Well, let's work this out. 1.8 squared plus 8.0 squared. So I'm going to pull out the calculator here. We could work this out by hand, but it will just be a little bit easier. 1.8 squared plus 8.0 squared. I don't need to put the point zero, and I hit enter, and I get 67.24. So let's write that down. 67.24. And let's see if that's what we get when we do 8.2 squared. So let's type in 8.2 squared and hit enter. 67.24 exactly. So these three numbers form a right triangle. We wouldn't call them a Pythagorean triple because they're not integers. But sides of those lengths do form a right triangle. Here's the next example. A triangle has sides 8, 20, and 22. Is it a right triangle? Well, if it is, 22 will have to be the hypotenuse. So what we want to do is compute 8 squared plus 20 squared and see if that equals 22 squared. So I'll put a little question mark there. I'm asking, 8 squared plus 20 squared, does that equal 22 squared? Well, 8 squared is 64. 20 squared is 400. So does that equal 22 squared? Well, what's 22 squared? I don't know off the top of my head, but let's figure this out. 22 squared is 484. And at this point, you're done. You can see that 64 plus 400 will be 464, not 484. So the answer to the question, is it a right triangle, is no, it is not. And here's one more. A triangle has sides of length 7, 24, and 25. We want to know, is it a right triangle? So we're going to say 7 squared plus 24 squared, does that equal... 25 squared. Well, 7 squared is 49. 24 squared, let me compute that. 24 squared is 576. Okay, does that equal 25 squared? And 25 squared, I happen to know that one. That's 625. We'll do these add up to 625. 576 plus 49, um, yes, that adds up to 625. That works. So the answer to the question, is it a right triangle, is yes. So those are just a few quick examples showing that we can use the Pythagorean theorem to determine if a triangle is a right triangle. Again, the Pythagorean theorem says that if it is a right triangle, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. But the converse of the theorem is also true. That is, if a squared plus b, b squared equals c squared, then it is a right triangle. So we can use the theorem, uh, think of it in either direction. And so you can use it to determine if three particular lengths do in fact form a right triangle.